Hey, what's up? It's Brother Q, and today we're discussing trade lines. The so trade line is any type of account that you have credit with a certain type of business with. Um, and that's why the trade line, you know, the actual name kind of stems from, you know, business in and of itself. It's a line of communication between two businesses. I fix cars, you sell wrenches. So it may be in your best interest to provide me with wrenches because I need that to fix cars. Or I'm a painter, you have paint, and we, we both, you know, in the congruence with each other in business, so we, we, we tend to need each other. And the more I, I have of a certain product that you provide, the more money I can make. And so these terms kind of come from business in itself. So authorized users actually come from a specific law that I believe was made in like the 70s or something like that. And believe it or not, it was for wives. And the premise of it was that at the time, mostly white men were the ones who had jobs and were off of credit. And their wives weren't, weren't afforded the ability to develop credit because they didn't have the same positions in the job force or in the business field. So they wrote some legislation, manipulated the rules, and basically came up with authorized users and the concept of authorized users. Now the tricky piece that they added in, the little small thing they added in is that and they didn't say wife or husband, they said spouse. And in legal terms, a spouse is kind of Loose. A spouse could be anybody that you live with, close relative, almost sometimes friend. And so when you take this to the credit world, that's where we get trade lines. So you have a credit card, and that credit card may be from Citibank, and it's on my credit, my credit profile. I have a line of credit with them, credit card. That's on my credit as a line, and that line is called a trade line. That trade line, I have authorized users with. And it's typically about five authorized users I'm allowed to add on to there. Now, the internet and people in the business world took that and said, we're going to sell the authorized users. And so the more money a person may have on a specific credit account, the more valuable that authorized user is. Or rather, the authorized user account, the, the, the slots they have to offer are. And so you go online, you type in trade lines, you type in trade line broker, you'll, you'll find tons of information about people selling all types of ways of creating trade lines. And I've seen some really exotic ways of people selling and trying to manipulate the credit profiles. And because of that kind of concept of it being manipulation of the credit profile, the banks were forced in 2008 to change their FICO rating, their FICO scoring. So FICO is a fair Isaac corporation something whatever it means but it's you can watch one of all the videos and I go into like the FICO score and what FICO is but what I want you to know is that FICO was originally just one scoring module then in 2008 they were forced to create a new scoring module because they felt that the banks were taken advantage of because people were unfairly manipulating the credit profiles through the, through the misuses of authorized users so in 2009 and in 2008 they created an algorithm in which it was able to read and list the types of accounts you have on your profile and separate your authorized users, which forced the people to say to the banks, like, that's not legal, but the banks are like, look, we can't tell who it, it. so on my, they can't really tell who has what on their credit. So what does that mean? So if I have a loan on my credit for $50,000 and I add you as an authorized user, you now have that line of credit on your credit. So when you apply for an account, they're going to see that on your credit and say, oh, you now, you, they're going to think that you actually are the person that's maintaining an account for $50,000. And they're going to loan you money based off of what they see in your credit. And so when you have someone able to manipulate their profile for these purposes, when they're not actually able to manage or maintain the things that they're applying for, that was the excuse the banks used in 2008 with the mortgage crisis, where they were saying that they were giving loans to people for houses based surely off their credit report, and on their credit reports they were seeing accounts that were allowing them to justify giving them these types of loans. And were they right, were they wrong, who knows, who cares? With me, with trade lines, I personally feel that the concept is great, but selling it and manipulating it and not truly developing you is an issue. And so what does that mean? So in my little one year time doing credit repair, I've helped a lot of people develop their trade lines. And 
the first thing I tell them is help someone in your family. Teach them how to develop their credit. If you have a thousand dollar card and somebody next to you doesn't have the credit, you can actually add them on to your credit. And you tell them like, look, I may have a $200 balance. They pay my $200 balance and it's gonna bring it down. It's gonna boost our credit up. And it starts to build a synergy. And synergy is one of those words I love because it's about people working together for what, you know, to, for a common goal. And what's better than for a family working together on a common goal of developing their finances and developing their ability to be prosperous, prosperous with their finances. And so the, the, the underlying premise of trade lines is about that. Families and, and tight-knit communities using each other's financial capabilities to develop each other. And so I implore you to develop your credit and then turn to the person next to you, like they say in church, in your family, and help that person and say, look, I can add you onto my credit cards because you're, you're like you're my spouse with family and I can help you develop your credit. Don't go online and buy that, you know? And if we continue to do this, I know for a fact, we in our community, specifically the black community, will be able to develop our network of money. You know, when I mean network, net worth and net worth value. So I mean word that better. So our net value, you know, like, you know, if, if this person has good credit, but everybody around them has bad credit and has no accessibility to money, then that value of the 10 people is really not worth much because you have to average it out, which is like what they do in the credit reports. But if the 10 of us all have at least $5,000 worth of available credit, that's five other people that we can also help out. And that's a lot of, that the potential within that is very vast. And so that's my take on trade lines. Now, if you want to go online and buy a trade line from somebody to develop your credit, that's on you. I'm not saying it doesn't work because that's what, it, that's what the whole concept of it is to work. Be wise. Don't go in there trying to spend thousands of dollars because you think that's what you need to get to a house immediately. Check somebody in your family first. There may be somebody that you're close to already who has the, 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 the credit accounts, the trade lines on their tr profile that they can actually help you. And so I would suggest that and maybe give that person the $500 before you give some random person online. Because at least you can call them back and forth and if you need be in the future, get re-added on or they taken off when you, on, your, on your own choice versus having to pay this person some random broker on YouTube or, or Craigslist or whatever it is. And so be wise, be smart, and always be diligent about your life and your finances.